Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying on the new ColourPop Through My Eyes collection. So if you guys would like to see, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be trying on the new ColourPop Through My Eyes collection. This is a collaboration with ColourPop and I love Sarahi Karen. She's a fellow YouTuber. So she came out with another, I think this is like her second or third collaboration with ColourPop. And this is the Through My Eyes collection. This is the eyeshadow palette. It retails for $23. Yeah, so here is the lip collection that came with it and it comes with one glossy lipstick and two ultra matte lipstick so i'm gonna go ahead and try that on in case you're curious this lipstick set costs 16 dollars and like i said the eyeshadow palette costs 23 dollars so here's the actual palette and here's the inside of the eyeshadow palette there's so many different shades to choose from there's pinks purples those emerald greens so beautiful that warm like orange browns and yellow and it looks like there's a lot of different finishes in here there's mattes shimmers looks like there's even some like satin finishes as well so i can't wait to use this i'm not really trying out the eyeshadow palette like the formula it's more like i'm just trying out the collection because if it's anything like the previous eyeshadows the formula i know i already like it so to start off today's eye look, I'm going to use my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to go into Sandalwood. This is like a very cream, good all over eyelid shade. Also, I really like that this palette actually has a really good big full size mirror in here. So I'm just setting Sandalwood all over my eyelid. And then next I want to pick up this very like mauve toned matte shade right here called Nostalgia. And I'm going to use that as my transition with the same brush. I really like ColourPop, their eyeshadow formula, especially like their mattes. I think that they're such an affordable but really good formula, so I hope they never change it. Alright, next I want to go into the like matte emerald shade called Moody. Right here, it's such a beautiful shade and... I'm picking that up with my Luxie 229 Tapered Blending. And I'm gonna create a sort of like a halo. Yeah, this is a super pigmented shade. All right, and I really like that shade. It's so beautiful, super pigmented though. Next, I'm gonna pick up Emerald Dream right here, the shimmer shade, and I'm just gonna use that, pick that up on my finger and put that right in the center to get that pop. Oh my gosh. This shade is so beautiful. Like an emerald teal, so beautiful. And then just for an added pop even more in the center, I'm gonna go into this like bronzy gold shade right here called Mesmerize. So cute and a good, very cute play on words. Pick that up with a different finger and I'm just gonna tap that right in the center. Next, I'm gonna pick up this matte pinky shade right here called misbehave it actually looks a little bit more vibrant in the camera but it actually looks more muted in person but i really like it so i'm going to pick that up with my luxie 231 small taper blending brush and i'm going to put that on my entire lower lash line and then i also want to finish that inner corner with like a shimmer so i'm going to pick up the very similar shade right next to it it's actually a shimmer though and it's called nocturne and i'm gonna pick that up with like a flat lip brush and i'm gonna put that right on my like inner corner on the lower lash line just to bring that sparkle right there all right and i think that's pretty much it from the eyeshadow palette so far i love the different shades like i said i really already know how the ColourPop eyeshadow formula is and i love it I always gravitate towards their shadows. They're very easy to use. Um, but so far, I really like this combo of what I created. All right, I'm back. I just applied on the rest of my makeup. 
And next, we're going to be moving on to the lip bundle that comes in the collection. So there's an ultra glossy, and this is a glass lip, and two ultra mattes, and this one is Sonio de Coco. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we have Dolce, and I believe that's the. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. So. I'm gonna go through the mattes first and then I'm gonna go over with the gloss. So the first one is the Sonio de Coco. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It looks like this is like a muted kind of matty brown. And I'm not a big fan of the ultra matte, but let's just go ahead and give this a try. Alright, so that was Sonio de Coco and it's so beautiful. I love these like brownie nudes. Not really sure about the formula just because I don't really like like the ultra liquid lipsticks for matte formula, especially with ColourPop. I definitely like the satin version, but I love this shade. It looks so good. And then to the next shade, I'm going to be trying on the Dolce. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This one looks more like a pinky ready. Let's go ahead and try that on. It's also ultra matte. I would describe this shade as either like a flamingo or like a watermelon, like pinky red. And then lastly, we have a glossy lip. This one is so beautiful. It's like a coppery kind of like orangey shade with like gold reflux in it. So I'm just gonna wear this alone and see how it is alone. Oh, it has like a brush tip. It's very different. Yeah, so this is super comfortable on the lips. I really like it. Um, that orangey-ish tint, it kind of, it, it is there, but it's not too like opaque. It's very sheer, but I love the gold reflex. It's so beautiful and it's so comfortable. I literally could just wear this way over those ultra mattes. All right, everyone, so this is the finished look using the ColourPop Through My Eyes collection. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my other social accounts, such as Instagram, Twitter, and, of course, YouTube. So other than that, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.